Hi there, and welcome to Hands-On Web Application Development with jQuery. My name is Lawrence, and I'm going to be your instructor for this course. I come to you with a number of years of web development experience, having built my first website in 1999, and also been doing programming even before that. I've worked on projects that are small to large in scale, developing applications that have been experienced by millions of people and millions of users online. The internet has provided us with new opportunities to expand and share knowledge. I've been creating digital online learning since 2002, and let me tell you, there's no greater satisfaction than teaching somebody something that you are passionate about. I'm so thankful to the 500,000 plus students that are taking my courses across multiple different online platforms. Within the upcoming lessons, we're gonna be exploring jQuery, how it works, how to use it, and then also how to build out your own web application using jQuery. Learn to rapidly build interactive web applications with jQuery. jQuery makes it easy. Power up your website using jQuery. In section one, we're gonna be introducing you to jQuery, how it works, and establishing all the fundamental core concepts of jQuery, how to use it, and how you too can get started with jQuery, including how to set up your coding environment, how and why you can use jQuery and how to add jQuery into your web applications, working with the DOM, DOM manipulation, selecting elements, updating elements with content, toggling between hiding and showing elements, and getting started with attributes in jQuery, manipulating HTML elements, and we're also going to be introducing the project that we're going to be working on in the upcoming lessons. Section two is where things start getting really interesting because we're going to be introducing event handling. Event handling allows you to handle click events, mouse events, keyboard events, and also scroll events. We're going to be introducing you to all of this amazing functionality within jQuery. Section three is where we're going to be introducing and looking at advanced element selection. How to select elements, selecting elements by order, and also some more advanced selection methods that are available within jQuery. Also how you can use methods like filtering, traversing through the different elements, and a whole lot more. We're also gonna be introducing you to how to work with forms and how to use jQuery and manipulate forms, get data from forms, and a whole lot more. Section four is all about jQuery web manipulation. And in section four, we're gonna be updating element styles, updating element attributes, creating new elements, chaining elements with different methods together, updating and adding data values into dynamically created elements. Section five is gonna be another really fun section because we are gonna be looking at effects and animations. It includes different types of effects that are built into jQuery, such as fade effects, slide effects, and also customized animations, and how you too can create those customized animations within jQuery. And then of course, last but not least, Section six, where we look at using Ajax. jQuery is famous for Ajax because it allows you to load content dynamically, make those Ajax requests seamlessly, update your content within your page elements, and essentially get data from an external source that you can use within your web applications. And we're gonna show you how. So I know you're excited to get started, so let's jump right in and start coding some jQuery coming up next.